What's up guys and welcome back to Project Town Garage. Today we're going to paint the roof of our little Dotson pickup here and we're also going to paint the wheels on it. Now, some of the more astute of you might have noticed that the wheels are not on the truck. And if you remember in a previous video, I said that I was waiting on tires. Well, the tires came in and I didn't have the wheels painted yet. So what that means is I have a brand new set of tires on a set of wheels that haven't been painted. Yay for proper planning. So we get to mask off the tires or break them off the bead or something in order to paint them. Let me show you what we got. Over on this side, I've got a wheel cylinder that's leaking. You can see the spot on the ground there. That'll tear up some paint. And there is said wheel cylinder. We'll have to do that before we get started. Also, there are our paint supplies right there. And these are our new tires and our wheels. Look, white walls. Isn't that awesome? So we'll wire brush these things down, sand them, try to get them as smooth as we can, shoot them with white paint, shoot them with, well actually we'll shoot them with primer, then we'll shoot them with white paint, then we'll shoot them with clear coat. It'll look great. For paint, this is what we're using. It's uh, Nason Base Clear, and the color, and the color is Toyota Super White. We've got some 400 grit sandpaper here, and some filler primer for this roof. And actually, the roof isn't going to take much work at all. It's completely straight, so there's no bodywork needed. It's basically down to the primer anyway. So this thing is going to take just a, probably a little bit of 400 grit and it will be good to go. Naturally, it's Tennessee and I just had a look at the thermometer. It's 732 degrees out there, 727 in here, so it's a lot cooler in here. Um, and that's Fahrenheit. So anyway, let's get, uh, let's get our grinder out and our, our probably a cut brush and see if we can uh, clean these wheels up some. Let's get going. This one decided she wanted to paint the Datsun logo on the back of it in uh, glossy white too while we're at it. So she's gonna sand these uh -oh. letters down just a little bit and get them prepped for some paint. And then we'll mask them off and we'll shoot those too. I guess my weapon of choice today is gonna be a cup wire brush on a angle grinder and we'll try to stay out of the valve stems. <laughs> Good luck. So the cup brush on the angle grinder is too aggressive. Let's try a cut brush on a drill and see if that does any better. So now that the major parts are off with the wire brush. I switched over to some um, 220 grit sandpaper and uh, that'll help kind of smooth out those areas I can't really get to. smooth there's some pitting in here that's just not going to go anywhere got it all taped up got some uh, filler primer that we're going to use here and my, uh, my thought process is to get all the wheels taped and primed and out here so that they can completely dry and then we'll get to the roof of the truck and see what to do about that I just absolutely forgot to tape up the valve stem <laughs> Not very good. So naturally, let's try to tape it up while it's wet, because that makes the most sense. Now you definitely want to paint on days 
where the wind is 30 or 40 knots. That'd be like today. That way you get maximum paint over spray out there. Good thing about this kind of primer is that it dries really fast, especially when it's hot out here like this. Number two, taped up my valve stem this time, thinking ahead. See, I figured out the strategy of the wind. As long as you're working, there's no wind, it's really hot. But as soon as you need to paint, there's gonna to be tons of wind. So all we need to do is just paint all day, every day, and there'll be a nice cool breeze. My super good help got all this cleaned up. So all I've gotta do is shoot a little bit of primer on it. somewhere between perfect and good enough. The reason there's a number two right there is because my wheel weight was right here. I had a couple of wheel weights that were on the front. I'm gonna move them over to the back and just to keep track of which one and where it went, that's wheel weight number two. Have the matching wheel weight wrapped up in pretty tape. Quick wipe down with wax and grease remover. Some of these places in here are just impossible to get to. And the wheel's got a whole lot of, looks like stamping imperfections in it. So these are gonna be just so good. We're not looking for show wheels, are we? I mean, well, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe you are. I'm looking for kind of white wheels. Well, let's sand this roof off. Get ready to uh, prime it. Well, we've reached a stage in the game where we've got the top cleaned, sanded, wiped down and I've got the first little bit of um, taping done. So at this point, um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up uh, some base and I'm going to shoot these wheels. So basically, if you haven't guessed already, I'm gonna have to do this in two separate steps, right? I'm gonna have to shoot and clear those wheels out there first and as soon as I get the clear on them, I'll go ahead and bring them in here and let them flash off. Once they're flashed, I'm gonna stick them on the truck. And at that point, I can back the truck outside and uh, pop a tent canopy or something up over it and go ahead and shoot that, that roof. Because I know there's gonna be a million bugs that would just love to land in my fresh white paint. So let me get set up here. Let's mix a little bit of paint and we'll, uh, We'll shoot these wheels. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of thinner in my gun, just to run just a little bit of that through there and make sure everything is as it should be. So this gun wants uh, 20 to 70 PSI of air pressure. 
It's about 30 right there. We'll, we'll run that working pressure anyway. Should only take about 10 gallons to paint these wheels. I'm gonna use a medium reducer today. Oh, by the way, if you guys are coming here to learn how to paint something, don't. I'm a hobbyist on a good day. Uh, anyway, this stuff here uh, is gonna mix one to one. I'm not gonna mix much up at this, this first run here, because I don't believe I'll need a whole lot to paint these wheels. Rags come in extremely handy for stuff just like this. And we'll mix some equal part reducer. We'll see if this is enough or not. Pot life on this stuff is like four hours. So I'll have plenty of time to mix my clear, shoot my clear, get it all put back, and probably get the wheels back on the truck and get it back out and maybe even shoot another. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much I need of this stuff first. Okay. Oh, it feels cool out here now. Recoat window's pretty short on these, especially as, uh, as hot as it is out here. So let me give them a couple minutes and uh, I'll come back, shoot another coat on them. All right, so there we go. What do you think? So next step is gonna be a clear coat on these. They want about a 15 minute window between your last base and then the first clear. Uh, I put a couple of really heavy coats on there. So I'm gonna give it just a few extra minutes, even though it is just roaring hot outside. All right, let's mix up some clear. This is a four to one ratio for this junk. Four to one, there we go. Do about four ounces or so. That should be enough to get me through the wheels and maybe even the roof too. I don't know, we'll see. Leaks thoroughly. All right, let's go clear this. All right, that's coat one. And um, that one's not gonna be a very glossy coat. It's just more um, kind of a, uh, a light coat in order to give the, the, the next clear layer something good to stick to and adhere to. So next, um, the next couple of coats, I'm gonna pour it on pretty thick because I want these things to have some gloss to them. I think two coats is gonna be enough on these. 
here let me give you a uh let me give you a over overall view of these things see what you think way better than what we started with right let's untape them There we go. Definitely not perfect, but definitely a ton better. I'm gonna stick these back on the truck with a couple of lug nuts, just enough to get it mobile so I can back it out and shoot that roof. It looks like I'm only putting two lug nuts on there. It's because I am, we're not done yet. We gotta take all these back off again. I just need to make the truck roll. All right, about to do the roof of this truck. Reason that's inside here is because the second I pulled the truck outside, it started raining. And then the second I put it back in here, it's sunny and beautiful again. Guess we're painting it in here. Anyway, mixed up some more paint just to make sure I have enough. Well, that's all the color I'll probably put on it. Coverage looks really good. I don't see any spots I missed, which is saying something for me. Let this flash off for a few minutes and come back with our clear coat. Well, let's get this uh, first coat of clear on it.
bad. Not bad at all. For an amateur. Now let's unwrap our present. So much paint vapor in there. Open the door, look like a Cheech and Chong movie. All right. So there is our paint job. All done. Wheels are nice and pretty. The roof is shiny. It does have some spots on it. Um, it does have a few dents and dings. And I have not wet sanded it and polished it yet, but we'll get to that at some point. But the wheels look tons better. Still gonna scrape that, uh, still gonna scrub that blue off of my white walls. Don't it make my white walls blue? There. There's a shot of it. There's a shot of the side of the truck. The kind of the look I was going for right there. I just think that's just the coolest thing ever. Next thing we're going to do is get us um, some patina sauce and probably go over um, the whole truck with thousand grit sandpaper and um, kind of make it, you know, I guess a little smoother and uh, try to burn through some of this, um, some of this tractor paint somebody put on it. We'll burn through some of that and then we'll, uh, we'll probably just come back and patina the, uh, you know, put the patina sauce on the thing, call it good enough. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, on the uh, on the roof here, I still need to uh, wet sand and buff it. You know, I pulled it inside because it was threatening rain, right? In fact, we painted it right in there. Literally, we finished painting it. I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and sneak it around and put it back in the garage so I can be done for the day, right? While the paint cures. Less chance of dust and dirt getting on it in the garage than there is in that, uh, in that shed there. <clears throat> so I start the truck, pulled it out. As I'm pulling out, it literally started raining right then and there. Would you believe that? So I got, uh, I got some divots in my, uh, in my paint. Hopefully, uh, a wet sand and a buff will bring that back. We'll see. But if it doesn't, I really don't care. Um, I just wanted that contrast, that shiny contrast against the rest of the truck. Um, and I like that. 
So I don't care if it's perfect because have you seen the truck? So anyway, guys, as usual, appreciate you watching the video. Appreciate you sticking here to the bitter end with it. Hey, don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's a little icon down there. Click on that. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. It's free and man, it helps our channel out so much. So appreciate it if you do that. Anyway, uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about us. And guys, I'll see you next time.